Hello everybody and welcome to Real and Virtual Outdoors. Let me make sure I have audio. I'm running a little behind. I've been busy this morning. I had a little situation I had to take care of. Make sure the microphone's working then we'll call a few people out. We are working. All right. Let me get the game up here. I haven't even got the game up here. I've been working on another project today. It's put me a little behind, but we're ready to go. I had to take care of something this morning, but we're ready to go now. All right. Let's call a few folk out here. Pause that so I can use my mouse. Uh, let's see. We got Chris Everett. Good to see you, my friend. Lisa Elliott. Good afternoon. Just leaving. Uh, surgery went well. Okay, so that's in reference to Aaron's knee surgery. So she's letting everybody know that it went well. If you're listening, you know that uh, Catfish Reg's knee surgery went good. I'm glad to hear it, Lisa. Uh, look forward to getting him well and getting him back on a good path uh <clears throat> let's see there's my friend big slim uh don r hello don there's my friend don there's emily hi emily steve Locke. good to see you steve uh scrolling scrolling polar bear the chad and i believe we got everybody all right as i said i've been Working on another project today, and I'm still running a little bit behind getting it going, but we got it going. Uh, so, we're going to deer hunt a little bit today. As you can see, I got my camo moo moo on and my bucket hat that Buck Williams just loves. And uh, we're already at the tent up here where we're going to hunt on this small lake, which is located right here. And I'm going to pump that up a little bit so y'all can see it. These are several feeding zones here. But these two zones is one we're going to be hunting. Whitetail zones. Uh, from 8 a.m. until noon. This is a blind here that I have set up. So we're going to change the time to 8 a.m. at 7.30. And we're going to walk down here quietly and get the stand. Let's talk about the guns we're going to use today. Before we do that, uh, if I can remember how to get to the weapon wheel, <laughs> it's been so long. I got too many games. Uh, this is a 7.62 by 39. Uh, I'm sorry, by 54 R Bozet Nagant. That's the main gun we're going to use today. We also have. The uh, 308, which we will use also today. So I'm kind of partial to the 308. This is the new gun in the Midnight Black. This is an Olsen uh, 308. This is a hard hitting dude here, so we may shoot a deal with it first. All right, let's change the time to 7.30 a.m. We're gonna walk down here quietly and get it to stand. This is gonna be a short walk. So we're going to set it for 720 to give myself just a little bit extra time. Alright. We're going to walk down and get in this blind right here. Subscriber requested this today, so... I got to stand on the side of this road here about 100 yards, so... A lot of people say don't set your stands up that close. Uh, most of those people are grinders. 
They're spawning in and out of an area, shooting deer and going to the next area. Uh, I don't do much grinding, so I can set my stand a little closer and uh, change the time back a little further and comfortably get to the stand without pushing an animal 99% of the time. They have changed the uh, reference time. The animals were in, were in there. The animals were kind of showing up uh, somewhere between noon and eight. Uh, they pinpointed them a little bit more accurately. In fact, I think I see some deer down there already. Let me see. No, that's a shadow. Tony from DoorDash, Susquehanna stand. He said, crawl, I don't need to crawl. I give myself plenty of time to get there. Uh, they changed the reference time. These animals will show up now closer to the time uh, of the zone, which is 8 a.m. here. So we're going to see how that works out today as we hunt. We're going to hunt several stands and several blinds today. I have been working on LSPDR, uh, FR rather. If you're like what? It's the new police mod game that I've been playing. And I've been trying to get all the plugins and all the stuff functioning properly. So I'm going to start doing a Saturday night live. I'm going to put a poll up on the real and virtual outdoors group uh, community page rather uh, and the poll is going to be in reference to uh, we started Wednesday's game day for baseball and that kind of got derailed uh, because of Xbox decision Thunderstruck good to see you to take the game that I was playing off uh, and put the new one on, which I'm glad they did because I'm getting to play the new version. However, it interrupted the franchise season we had going. So I'm going to put a poll up on the Real and Virtual Outdoors group, uh, community page. Uh, and basically the poll is going to be this. Uh, it'll be a question for subscribers. Uh, should I continue to do the Wednesday live stream? Or... Should I not do the Wednesday live stream, go back to the original Tuesday and Thursday that we were doing before and try to do more live streams, maybe on a Friday or a Saturday night. Now, that will not be every Friday and Saturday night, but it will be at least twice a month. We will do a live stream either on a Friday or a Saturday night. So the poll will be simple. Should we keep the Wednesday day stream or should we do the uh, more often night streams? Uh, the reason, one of the reasons why that I want to do the uh, night stream not saying we won't do any night streams if y'all choose the Wednesday but I'm not gonna uh, broadcast uh, the police game on Grand Theft Auto mod during the daytime uh, uh, that's more of an adult stream because of the prof profanity content that's in it which I have profanity mods in place to help block some of that. But also this, the shooting and the car chases and all the fighting and stuff that goes with it. So, stay live 24-7. Yeah, you wish. So that will be up to subscribers. So, if you have a preference, you need to vote. We're going to take one poll on the community page. I'm going to put it up today today 15 minutes after I'm done with this so it will be a simple poll 
vote to continue Wednesday's live streams or vote to do more weekend nights live streams. And whichever comes out ahead is what we're going to do. So. I am still learning the police game. I have not, am in no shape or form, no expert at it yet. But I'm working on the nuances of all the features. I've got radar installed. I've got a new uh, radio installed. I can communicate better with dispatch. I have got... Uh, what they call stop the pad it gives you a lot of options to do with uh, interacting with people so and we're just waiting I'm going to put some cover sand on here in a minute. So my wind is blowing this way. So it's blowing out over the lake, which is good. The deer are going to either come from here or here. They always come out from the sides. So in this spot. I've killed a couple of golds out of here, so I've been killing this spot down trying to spawn a diamond. So, a lot of times the deer will come uh, from right in here where that orange dot's at, and they'll walk this way, uh, slightly up this hill and around the back of me. And then they, a lot of times they'll come out right here, close to me, so... Of course, we want to shoot them before they get that close with a rifle. So, yeah, well, the wind's blowing really, if I'm facing this way, it's blowing my back, but it's blowing out that way, which is good because the deer would have to really come out of here and then come all the way around. And they're not going to do that. They're either going to come out of here, back here. Or right here. So I'm downwind to where they're going to be. Huckleberry. Good to see everybody. Good to see everybody. I was watching a guy last night play the police game and uh, he has he's quite a, he's quite advanced at it. The man has three million three three point seven million 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 subscribers. <laughs> Golly. I had to do a double take on that when I saw it. I'm like, God, you got to be kidding. Three million subscribers. Let's see what time it is here. We are right at 8 o'clock. So now we are going to drop a little cover scent on us. If I can hit the right button. So, I don't know if y'all saw that live that I did on that police game the other night. But I hit the wrong button and jumped out of the doggone car going down the interstate. My wife thought that was quite humorous, by the way. There's a lot to learn. Mm 
I need a wiper? Yeah. Lance Makuga, the Hawaiian fisherman. Oh, Lance, good to see you. I need to order some fish bait today or tomorrow for sure. Aaron, I'm Aaron, Lord. Got Aaron on the brain with his surgery going on. Um, oh, look here. There they come. What's this? That's a two. That's a small buck. He's a level one. Right on cue. Okay, I want to shoot. I want to get that level one out of this mix. If he'll hold still long enough for me to get a shot on him without going behind the blind. He's not going to. Alright, let's shoot this level two if we can. No, they're going to go around the stand. Which is normal. They may spook. But they'll be back. I'm going to keep the rifle at the ready. There they come. There they come. There's a level one. I'm going to ease up here and pop him. I need to get him out of this herd. 308. Olson. Okay. <clears throat> oh, we just go. That was an easy shot. Now, I love this rifle. Uh, but I'm also a big fan of the Mosin too. I use it a lot. And that was a that was an immediate kill shot. So the question is, is why did I kill that deer over the level two? Uh, what I'm trying to do is I always want to shoot level twos. Because I want a level three deer to spawn. There's another deer right back here. That's going to be a doe, I think. Yeah. But I don't want I don't want a bunch of level ones hanging around either. So sometimes when you shoot two a bunch of twos, you'll get a one. And I want to keep those ones off the map. I want to keep all the keep a bunch of twos around. Uh, keep them going as twos, that way I can wipe the twos out and maybe spawn a three. Herd management. Some people believe in herd management on the game. There are opponents of herd management. Each to their own. So now we wait. We're going to wait. Those deer probably come back. And if they don't, we'll take another spot. I hope she's Hope she's uh comes through it good, Lance, with flying colors. Hope she didn't. Hope it doesn't make her sick. Oh uh, look, look, he's trying to hide back here. There's a level two. All right, we're gonna use the three oh eight on him. He is. 171 yards. Alright, I'm going to use the 308 on him for a frontal shot. A little bit more pop. 
on the 308. So we're going to... He's standing in a bad spot. He's behind the doggone hill. I... I'm not going to try to sneak that in there. I'm going to try to call him down the hill. I may totally... If I shoot at him right there standing behind that grass like he is, that's not, that may not turn out too good. So we're just going to wait and see if he'll move. I'm going to do my best to get him to move, but I don't know if he will. There's a doe. See, I think this is another doe. Let me not get focused too much on that. And forget about this back here. We're, we're good there. Nothing's there. So that is a level two. Mm, he's not moving. He's just standing there. There's a deer behind him, but I can't. She's behind a tree over there. I can't see what that is. What is that back there? There's another deer back here. That's a doe. For sure. That's a buck right there, but there's actually a, another, there's a deer right here. I can't see what that is. He said, that's my deco, I don't shoot it. All right. Oh, wait, wait, we got movement. There's a young buck. There's another deer right there. I think that's a doe. I think I just saw her head. Let's blow on this horn a little bit and see if we can get him to move. I don't think he's going to move. He is glued to that spot. All right. We're not going to get you to move. And I'm not going to be able to get any closer without him seeing me. So I'm just going to have to take a next shot. And I don't like doing this, but... I think I hit him twice. Okay. We hit him twice. So let's um, yeah, he just went down. Now, if you see that little purple illustration right there, 
where it went purple on the map. All right, let's go get this one first. I owe you a decoy. What happened here now? Okay, why can't I harvest my animal? That is very odd. What in the devil has happened here? Huh. All right, let's run up here and see. I, for some reason, I'm not getting the icon to harvest my animal. That is extremely weird. And that is not good. I'll come back. Let me go see if it does it up here. She said, I told you that was a decoy. I might be, t I might be tagged out. Ah, it's got to be a glitch. Let me go see. What happened here? I've never had that happen before, so I don't understand what happened. I wonder if that's a bug. I don't know yet. I'm going to go... I'm going to go see if I can find this animal first. That is very odd. Let me make sure I've got all my settings on. Something hadn't got turned off. Oh, Lord. Technology, technology. On. On, on. Animal hide all zones. appears to be on. Hmm. Alright, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go look for this animal and then we'll worry about that. And that's exactly why I don't want the next shoot one because you got to track the dog on fine. I am way off the beaten path here. Oh. Okay. Let's see if we can find some blood now. There we go. There's a blood spot. And 
he run up through here. He run away. I guess it's a blood spot. Yeah. He gonna be up here quite a distance. We're on the trail now. Let's see if we can harvest this one. That may be a glitch back there. It may be glitched because I shot this one. And it's not supposed to do that. But when you get updates, sometimes they have glitches. That they have to go back and hot fix. So we just got an update not too long ago. And I hadn't played it. So I've been playing other stuff. I will go back down there and uh, check on that in a minute. What I'll do is I'll run back down there and if I can't pick him up then I'll go to the tent and then go back and see if respawning to the tent won't let it open it up. Appreciate all the comments I got on the uh, video for the pursuit video that I put out. Uh, I'm going to have some more of that type of content coming out. I have uh, basically been working, hello NJ, and been working on uh, getting the game going and getting it up and, and running and getting all the extras. Is that a rabbit? I think that's a... That's a rabbit. Hello, Mr. Rabbit. Don't worry, I'm not going to try to eat you. That deer's right up here somewhere. Right there. Let's see what happens here. Yeah, I was a glitch. Alright. So we did we did get it. Let's run back down here now. And go pick up our other body. And see now if it won't. Uh let me pick it up. I'm gonna have some more uh those videos coming out. I'm gonna run over here and click this feed zone here and open it up. The Capricali. Oh, grouse feather. I generally record when I'm playing the games and that way I can make uh, some haps so I can make video out of it. I'm going to have some more police content. I just been had been recording because I've been in and out of the game checking each mod as I put them in. I put the mods in for the game and something went wrong and so I had to reinstall everything and I just did it one at a time to make sure that I got it corrected. And I did. So, just a little time. Plus, I've been playing the fishing game for two hours every day. Uh, except day before yesterday, I didn't get time to do it while I was doing mods for the police game. I, uh, Kelly Bullock and I, from the Bullock Experience, is going to have a little uh, 1v1 uh, on Kelly's new gaming channel. We're going to have a fish off. Uh, I think Aaron and uh, catfish regulators is going to make the rules of what we're going to fish for and what lake we don't even know. So I'm just trying to fish a broad spectrum of stuff. <clears throat> and I think him and J-Dog is going to do the commentary on it. So it'll be a fun time. J-Dog and Aaron will be on panel and Kelly and I will be going at it. So it'll be a fun experience for everybody. And somebody's going to end up wearing a moo moo. Well, Kelly's going to end up wearing a moo moo. I'm going to end up, if I lose, I'll end up wearing a sundress and a wig. And same for Kelly. So.
Yeah, see, it's not giving me the option to pick this animal up. So we're going we're gonna to go right here, click this, and now does it give me the option? It does not. So we're going to go to the stand, and we're going to fast travel to the tent, and then we're going to run back down here and see if it lets me do it. A thong! Ain't nobody wearing no thong. What you talking about? It's I, I'm not wearing no thong for you. There's something wrong with you, Stan. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Nobody wants to see me or Kelly Bullock in a thong. I can assure you of that. We are not thong material. And I'm sorry. Okay, now I bet I better pick him up. Let's see. I'm sorry, but you asking me to wear a thong is kind of sideways, Stan. Nope. Well, you scoundrel. Well. Alright. Be that way. So let's do this. Let's go back. And fast travel. We're going to change the time and see if he's still there. And see if it'll let me pick him up. Now let's try to go see if he'll let me pick him up. I doubt it. That's probably, he's probably gone. That's a, that's a known glitch. He said shoot it. I probably should have. If it does it again, we'll try that again. I've not had that problem, so. Let's see if he's still there. Yeah, hey, he's still there. Let's see if he'll let me pick it up. There we go. That worked. That was weird, wasn't it? All right. Let's go. Let's see where I want to go now. This is a good spot right here. We're going to go up here. And I am going to fast travel here. I got a bunch of stands and things set up all over this map. Yeah, I was right. You was. You were right, sir. <sighs> Did you bring your fishing gear? I did not. Eight. Eight. No fish on this game. Hello, Martin. How are you? Good to see you. Uh, let's go seven. Seven thirty. We're gonna run down here and get in this stand. Gonna run down here and get in this stand and start to hunt again. So I've got that tent put right there because I'm between about 300 yards in between two different stands and locations. Uh, and I've also got a a tent that I can go get into. We'll see you, brother. Uh -uh.
Yeah, we could do that. Call me on the phone. Tomorrow, when you're ready. But not too early. <laughs> uh, we here. I mean, I keep pushing the wrong button. Uh -uh. Stan and I got a, a little kind of a surprise hunt we're going to do. Make a video out of it. Uh, he wanted to hunt yesterday or night before that. I just didn't have the time. I'm, I've been working on that other project and been trying to practice for Kelly and I's tournament. He gets off work late and by the time I get ready to go to bed, he's home, so. But we're going to try to do it. He's come up with a great idea. It's going to be fun to make a video out of it. Now we wait. I sure hope Buck Williams gets to come by and see me in my bucket hat. I know what she enjoys, my bucket hat. There's a lot of deer traffic through here and a lot of links. Now those deer, most of the time, will come out from these woods straight in front of us. A lot of times you'll see your links over here. I killed a seven... Level 7, very hard links out of this stand not too long ago. So, <clears throat> you know, <coughs> excuse me, you know they say uh, if you don't, uh, in reference to uh, use something, you lose it. Uh, a skill is what I'm referencing to or uh, uh, <clears throat> when I first started playing this new police game uh, <clears throat> I realized <laughs> I realized how much I forgot about being a policeman or working in law enforcement. Good Lord. All the stuff I had to... Uh, I mean, I know it's a game, but all the stuff that I used to do uh, properly, I'm like, I don't remember how to do it anymore. It's been 20 years, but... Uh, so if you don't lose it, you, you lose it, so to speak. For instance... When we used to make, when I used to ride in a squad car and make a traffic stop, we pull somebody over. I'd have to get on the radio and notify dispatch of the plate location. Uh, and if I didn't do that every single time, or we didn't do that every single time, my chief beat me over the head with a ruler. Not literally, but you get the point. But. In order, I guess, to stay good at something, you have to keep doing it. You forget how to do things. I wish I could forget how to overeat as easily as I forget other things. Uh, I wouldn't be quite as fat as I am today. So I'll do something playing the game and I'll think, now why did I do that? That didn't make no sense.
I'm going to order me some catfish bait today. I started once to talk about that Walter Cone got off track. I do that a lot. I ramble. Uh, Matt and Kelly both sent me a uh, uh, you better go you better go over and look at that uh, little short video of my little fat body sitting out on that doggone bank with them catfish rods. You see fat. I'm going to order some uh, of that uh, black water I think it's what it's called, Blackwater Bait. I got the link saved on my computer. Uh, that uh, it's basically treated carp. I need some bait, and I gotta, and I, I don't find some places to get some bait, rather than relying on uh, relying on. Uh, Catching bait. Blue River carp bait. Yep. That's one of them. There was another one that Matt sent. I'm fat is, is what's and. <laughs> you not that fat. You carry your weight well, Art. You, your belly ain't as big as mine. mine mine's all in the belly. Uh, I'm going to get some of that and then uh, try that. I, I don't know. I, I think I'm going to get the garlic, but I don't know. Blue River Carp Bait is awesome. What do you, what do you, if you guys use it, what is your favorite, uh, what is your favorite flavor? Dark Water Premium Baits. That's it. Mm -hmm. Each of them sent me a link. So. <laughs> he said, I begged an effort, sir. Uh, well, that makes me feel good. <laughs> At least I know I'm not the baddest cat around. I need some Jules catfish bait. <clears throat> what I need to know is I'm throwing that on a two-ounce sinker. Is that going to stay on the hook? Because I'm casting it from the bank. I'm sure it does because you bank fish, but... In any event, you got fibers in it. I'd have to. I never had luck with dark water premium. I, I I'm gonna have to uh, uh, talk to the boss too. Uh, then she's gonna be the main baiter. Whether she thinks she can put stink bait on the hook, she might throw it at me. But yeah, I'd love to try it. It's in a lake, yes. The blood bait will stay on the hook for sure. Yeah. Well, I know that I know that Steve Adams ordered some. Uh, he ordered some frozen skipjack from a place, and I don't mind paying a little bit of money to get stuff. It's, that's not the issue. We don't have skipjacks here, but I believe he told me that there's an animal out here somewhere that he's got that they had uh, shad as well, frozen shads. Which we do have, Shad. Are you fishing a lake? It's a lake. Lake Louisville. It is a lake. And I suspect that the carp bait will be good. Uh, they use carp here. Uh, and I want to get me some, uh, I'm going to get me some chicken. Uh, I had some chicken last time I went. It stayed on the hook okay, but talk to Chris. 
Okay. Appreciate that, Art. Uh, that's some chicken that I used when I went out there last time. Put a little garlic on it and set it up overnight in a baggie. And I had some old chicken tenders that I used, but uh, uh, it was kind of it was kind of uh, brittle. Somebody said you it break. That's the only thing I had because. They were fro freeze burnt. I figured while well, I used them for bait. Somebody said you use chicken breast. So. Uh, but I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can't track down some some stuff to fish with other than chicken. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. I ain't said the blood bag will stay on better. Uh, I'm gonna. Uh, <clears throat> we went out, like I said, we went out and she casted the rods. She done well. She throwed it a long way. I knew she would. She's strong. She's strong. But the wind got up so bad it kind of run us off. But uh, I bought some rod holders from uh, Bass Pro Shop. They were only thirteen dollars, so it wasn't no big loss. But uh, the way they're made, they got the rod holder up on the uh, aluminum post, uh, and you can't you can't hit the aluminum post with anything to drive the holder in the ground without hitting the plastic. You just can't get a good leverage on it. I need to find some better rod holders too. <laughs> Uh, Mark was telling me that he got about something that he got for Kenneth. I, I need to ask him what the name of them are. I need something I can just kind of get in the ground a little more simpler than. They also have the newest bait, Blood Freezy. It is in pouches. Really? I'll have to look at that. I will certainly look at that. Oh, there's an animal walking out there. What are you? Ah, it's a doe. I barely seen her walking out there. She's a dog on far. You got any kin folk behind you? Yes, you do. You got any kin? Take down. Take down Rod. Oh, boy, y'all got all the information. I told my wife, I said, I just have to ask. While I'm doing a live, I said, them folks will know. Full of information. Appreciate it, guys. I'm going to go look all that up today. When I get done with my fishing practice. I got to get practice up so I can put Kelly in a moo moo. There's a couple smaller deer out there. Nothing big. There's a level one. <clears throat> if y'all don't mind, if you not busy or anything, send that to my information to my Facebook so I can look it up tonight. I gotta get my fishing stream back on up here. I appreciate that if you would on the rod holders as well. That way I can look those up. What I got's not gonna work. Uh, I was kind of skeptical about them. If you're fishing in the in the doggone beach, they probably be all right. But beating them in the ground. We're gonna wait a minute before we shoot. I want to see. Try to get some stuff. Okay. Appreciate you coming by, Ernie. Oh, there's a bigger one right there. It has a level two. 
Okay, that's the one we want to shoot. Unless there's one bigger. That's a level two. Okay, see, these are some bigger deer. Now, let's look at the size of the rack on this deer. They're all going to bunch up right there. I think that's the one. That one is a level two. That's a young one. All right, now we're going to just wait for the shot to open up. That's a definitely the one, uh, level two is definitely what I want to shoot. And I'm going to use, I'm going to use the 308 on him. We don't want to shoot that one. I would much prefer to get one of these twos. He's moving. That's the one I want to shoot right there. It's highlighted. Oh, wrong gun, Troy. There we go. Alright, I'm going to wait for him to stop, then I'm going to bust him. Come on, stop. Alright, here we go. That's a good hit. He run a little bit further than I thought he would. Uh -uh. I dare shouldn't run that far. <laughs> I look like a better shot than that. I wasn't. I may have missed. I didn't miss, but I, did, I didn't hit my target either. And I think I know why. I think I wasn't zeroed. Uh, that was a rookie move. God dog it. He just went down. All right. <clears throat> He's down, but it wasn't a great shot. Nevertheless, uh, I'm sure I run everything off. We'll see what we can dig up. So I wasn't zeroed. I, I the deer was further than I had the rifle zeroed for. When I shot the last deer, I took it down to 82 yards on the zeroing, and I didn't zero for and make that shot. So it's probably low. It's why that he runs far. We're gonna go see if we can't pick him up. Blood trail and get on the get on the track. If I find the blood, I'll get him. But that's gonna be the challenge is finding the blood. My stomach is already growling. It's early for that. Really trying to watch what I eat. I had a I'm going to go over here. I had a... Um, uh, 
English muffin this morning, and a dab of egg beaters. I do mean a dab. Appreciate that. Uh, and for lunch, I had six crackers and a piece of cheese and a little slice of turkey. Uh, that's going to be a looking expedition here, folks. To try to find this blood spot. Uh, there it is. Look at that. We found it. All right. Trying to uh, stay on a 1,200 calorie diet is pretty tough, but I manage it. I need to lose some more weight. I've lost some, but I need to do better. So I'm looking forward to my three a cup, uh, clock cup of coffee, or four, whenever I decide to have it. Good Lord, it's already two o'clock. Day's half gone. I hadn't got anything done. I got up this morning and I had a computer issue. Doggone uh, Bing done took it over my search engines. I had to get that fixed. We got the deer. We're on the trail now. We'll run him down here in a minute. So I had to get that straightened out. I get done here, I got to go start fishing on the fishing game, get my get my map up so I can start marking my spots. So in case that lake gets picked, I can have a reference of where some big boys are at. I give Mr. Bullock a run for his money. Problem is there's eight venues and probably 20 species of fish and we don't know or even what lake we're going to fish at or what species. So I'm just kind of going along and fishing for everything in search mode. We're coming up on that deer pretty fast now. There he is. Interested to see where I hit him at. I know it's going to be a low shot. Where'd I hit you at, big boy? Yeah. I got a grazing blow. It wasn't low. It just wasn't a good shot. So, let's see. Uh, what do you rate? You're 195. That is nowhere close to a diamond. A diamond is 255. So, he got a ways to go. You weighed 186. You're max weight. You just ain't a diamond. Yeah, I mean, you just... Not quite there. Rating 195. So, <clears throat> he is, would have been a gold if I'd have been a good shot. So, he is right on the threshold of a gold. So, need to probably shoot him another couple of times as he respawns. Let's go find us another spot to hunt. We done shot this one up. Running around. Uh, we're going to go. We're right here. Let's see. Let's see what's up here. We're going to head up here. Now this spot either pays off or it don't. 
I, it's just the way it is. <sighs> sometimes it's good, sometimes it ain't. I'm going to run up here to the... I got a tripod set right here. We're going to run up here and then we're going to rechange the time. A lot of birds up here in this part of the map too. Actually, I'm just going to crouch and walk up here slowly. and see if there's anything on the other side of this hill. So I'm interested in trying the blue water or blue carp uh, baits and uh, it looks like something would work for me. Looks like it's pretty easy to slice a piece off and go with it. So that's what I need. I am literally two minutes, two minutes away from uh, my fishing spot. Uh, from the house. Once we get in the car, I'm literally there in a flash. I've got, I found a couple spots over there. there uh, there's a, another spot over where it's kind of a flat type thing. Uh, that there was a guy at fish at the end of the day, and I talked to him a little bit. He has a little bit of luck there sometimes, so. Good thing about where I'm fishing at, it costs to get in the park down there, so that kind of keeps the riffraff out. Uh, Okay, there's my stand up here. This place right here is either, like I said, it's either really good or it's not. But we're going to see what it is today. It's a very wide open spot up here. And I decided to crouch up here because. I have been walking up here and run a few animals off in the past. <laughs> Excuse me. I don't see any animals up here right now. So we're going to glass over here by the lake and see what we see. I, I don't, I'm satisfied that I don't see anything. So we're going to pop down a tent and change the time to 8 a.m. and get in the stand here. Actually, we're going to make it 7.30. Give me time to get this collected and get up in the stand. All right. And we're up here in the nosebleed sections. There's really not a good place to put a stand right here. If I put it up there, then I can't see this watering zone. It's just really not a good place to put it. So, we'll just go with it. Let's see what happens. 15 people in here watching. Appreciate you. 
Appreciate the ones watching in the background. As well. And like I said, I appreciate all the comments I got on the videos lately. We're going to have some more videos coming out. There's going to be some more pursuit videos. I may try to make one tonight. And we're going to be running some radar on the new police game tonight. May make a couple of videos. <clears throat> With a Grand Theft Auto platform, you never know what's going to happen. Uh, you really don't. One minute I could be just riding around chilling, and the next minute we could be chasing somebody or, or getting shot. I had to be shot at twice. So, you never know what's going to happen. Plenty of action. And then sometimes it's enjoyable to sit back, play a game like this, and chill. Good to see you, Freddie. I appreciate you. <clears throat> I went out the other day and used one of the Freddie rods the first time. Wife casted it. worked great. All we need to do now is get a fish on it. Appreciate you stopping by, brother. <clears throat> let me... Let me go do something real quick while your name is up there. Right. All right. All right. It's good timing, Moon over Miami. All right, Freddie and Moon over Miami should be blue now. Appreciate you guys. Appreciate you guys. Just because you're blue don't mean you got to do any moderating. Just that way you don't actually get kicked out. <clears throat> yeah, y'all are blue now. Good deal. You're very welcome, my friend. Enjoy y'all's content very much. Enjoy seeing you on the, on the bait shop. The bait shop is one of my favorite shows on YouTube for sure. Everything's got to get shut down to watch the bait shop. Yeah, that keeps that keeps Missy Kennedy from timing y'all out. She kind of like fumble fingers over there. She 
Well, it could be worse. You could be like Jody and fall asleep timing everybody out. Um, uh, she ain't going anywhere. She she hiding back there. She waiting on she she waiting to pounce. <clears throat> She waits for me to do something, make a mistake, so she can jump on me. <laughs> uh, uh, Lord. Go play in the street, Missy Kennedy. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, that's my buddy. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Like I said, this place is either good or it ain't worth a hooting. Hooting or nothing. Yeah, Jody. Jody's the queen of sleeping time out. Yeah. Better give it a few minutes. If we don't see something, we'll have to move on. <laughs> Old Stan, he plays this game pretty much round the clock during his free time. He, he loves it. I generally will play a game for four days in a row and move on to something else and then come back to it later. Right now, I'm focused on the, playing the police game and getting my fishing practice in for Kelly and I's deal. I'm trying to cover... Uh, as much species and water as I can thoroughly as quickly as I can uh, and, and, and keeping some notes and some maps so this old man can remember all that stuff because uh, I sure would like to put Kelly in a wig I think that would be classic uh so, but Kelly, he's a good player now. He 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 could win. He he got a good chance of winning too. But no, I'm gonna give my give my best to put him in a in a moo moo. <laughs> you never know. He may get to wearing that moo moo. May take to liking it. Got three acres to mow. Lord, have mercy. I hope you're not using a push mower. You sure I'm going to be tired time that's over with. What time is it? It is 8.13. We're going to give them 10... 15 more minutes and we move it. Game minutes. 
I got three acres to mow. Golly, that's a lot of mowing. You need a tractor to mow that. Martin says, I shot all the animals that was up here. Well, I started once to move this stand out of here. And then I'll come up here one time and killed a, a nice, I think it was a lynx. And I decided to just go ahead and leave it. Let me pick my next spot out here while we wait. We going to go. Uh, we're going to go down here. This is always a. I think this is the spot. Mark this tree stand out and I think I want to go hunt. I think that's the right one. So doggone many of them. It's hard to keep track of them all. I see nothing. Martin, did you ever try to play this game? Have you been playing it? Have you given it a try? All righty. Sounds good. Lord, like I said, I hope you're not doing that with a push mower. Okay, let's go. I can tell you it's either good or it ain't. And today it ain't. So we move. Play it when you get a chance. You're playing okay? Good deal. Let's walk down here. See what we can get into. I want to walk down here and make sure this is a spot before I change the time. J Dog's in the house. J Dog was out fishing today. I had you on the big screen, J Dog. I was working on a project. Game is awesome. Yeah, it's an awesome game. I like it. Uh, I enjoy playing it. And there are times I play it a week straight, every day, several hours a day. So I found some good fishing spots yesterday on the game to run. No, this is not my spot. Yes, it is. All right, this is the spot. All right. I'm going to pop down a tent, change the time. To 8 a.m., 7.30 rather, 
And then we get in the stand and we wait. Woodreach, yeah. Well, I was having a problem with the computer this morning. I, I got up and uh, for some reason, every time I tried to run a search on something, it was picking up, redirecting me to Bling, or Bing rather, and from Google, and it's not supposed to do that, so I want to make sure I didn't have any malware, which I got virus protection program for that. I must have had some kind of malware or something. But it, I got rid of it, so we're back to normal now. <clears throat> well, you sound like to me you're an old, you're an old rustic had it handled. Oh, Jody, how are you? I had you on the big screen come on this morning. I was just working on some stuff. <clears throat> Emily still back there. Good to see you, Emily. I watched your little video this morning. Very cute. Very nice little video. Glad to see you. Glad to see you putting out the, the videos. You know, I tell people all the time, they ask me about how to get started YouTube. Put some content up. So if you're in the background and you're listening and you think about starting a YouTube channel and you hadn't committed to coming into anybody's chat or, or, uh, or thinking about doing a YouTube channel but you don't know where to get started, the first thing you need to do is put up some content. Put up something, something small even, even a short. Uh, and then get to bingling around some of these chats and getting to talking to some folks. I put up a 46 second short the other day of me sitting out on the bank with two two rods in the line, fish for catfish, and picked up 1,500 views. Wasn't nothing to it. Just a fat guy sitting there catfishing with two rods sticking up out of the rod holders. So if you're trying to get started, do something. Do something. Put some content up. That's the best way to get started. Don't have to be any big, major world breaking content just put something up there to get started Now this is a spot <clears throat> and I'm going to remove the scope from this Mosant. And I'm going to have one rifle that's scoped on it. I'm going to have one that's not. I'm going to tell you why I'm going to do that. <clears throat> For you beginning players. So this is a scoped rifle. When you point this rifle, even on the back zoom, see how tight that is? Sometimes trying to locate an animal, especially an animal that's walking up on you, it's difficult with a scope and a brushy spot. So the difference is, this is the rifle that is open sights. See how much easier that is to see the whole field of view and especially get your sights on an animal walking. So, 
if we get an animal coming in close, which happens in this spot quite frequently, we're going to use the open sight rifle on him. So that's why I have two rifles in the bag. Both these rifles are comparatively the same. The 308 is just a little bit stronger and he can shoot a little bit bigger animal with it. As far as deer hunting with, there's not much difference in them on deer. You can kill a little bit bigger species of animal with 308 than you can the Mosin. But I'm just basically deer hunting today. That's why I have two calibers so close together because eh, if I'm going to use one in here in this tight area, it'd be the open sights. Now if I look over here down the hill down here or back over in here and I've got a hundred yard shot, then I'm going to use the scope. Not saying I can't make a hundred yard shot because I can with open sights, but preferably I don't have I don't do that unless I'm intentionally hunting with open sights or I'm asked to do it with open sights. They give us loadouts this last time, which was. Great. So now I got my loadouts. So when I go duck hunting, I can just pick my duck hunt loadout. I go deer hunting, I want to pick my deer hunting loadout. I'm going to go hunt varmints, I got a varmint hunting loadout. And then I got a loadout for big game animals. There's certain guns and calls in there. So the loadouts were a great addition to Call of the Wild. Before, you'd have to go in the inventory and manually switch everything. Now, you just pick a loadout and go. We said it done that five years ago when I first started playing this game. That would have been nice. There's a, a prairie chicken. It's a western copper cali. That's the meanest joker ever was. Them birds are, are mean. I'm fixing to tell you. They, I've been flogged by them things two or three times on this game. So I was... Scout and spot out not too long ago. Put a deer stand up. Tree stand, just like the one I'm in right here. And I placed this tree stand right here. And I had my back turned and I was facing the tree like this. And I was looking up trying to get it adjusted on the tree. Uh, and Trying to get it adjusted to the right height and angle I wanted it on the tree. And all of a sudden something got on top of my head and was beating me to death with a set of wings. It was one of them jokers right there. So I had to jump up the stand to get away from him. And he standed at the bottom of the stand down there looking up at me with his old neck stretched out. Well, you know what happened to him, don't you? They put those birds in the game. They made them aggressive. I guess they're a very aggressive bird in real life. So the only weapon I had on me at the time was a 44 Magnum, so he met a 44 Magnum. The encounter did not turn out in his favor. K. 
Kelly Kelly. As soon as I get done here, Kelly, I'm going to get back on Fishing Sim World. Get my couple of hours of fishing in for the day. We will be live tomorrow at 1 o'clock. <clears throat> I don't know what we're playing yet. That's undecided. So. Something somebody wants to see, let me know. And we will make her happen. I'm also, I'm going to repeat this again. I'm going to put a poll up on my community tab. Whether we should continue to do the Wednesday uh, game day or go back to Tuesdays and Thursdays like we were before. Here comes a deer. Hold that thought. Uh, let's see what you are. You're a doe. Let me get the gun ready because it's probably going to be a buck coming in here in a minute. If she don't spook. There's a buck coming behind her, I think. I think that's him yonder. Yes, it is. What are you? He's nervous as a cat, a long-tailed cat in a room full of rocking chairs. There's two of them out there. <clears throat> okay, so what happened there? I got winded. Is what happened. Uh, they winded me, and they're headed up the hill. So, let's check the wind. I necessarily shouldn't have got winded right there, but I did. <clears throat> so we're going to see what's going to happen here. They may come back down the hill. We're just going to wait. So anyway, we're going to put the poll up. I'm going to put some cover on, on a community tab. Whether we should continue to do Wednesdays. Uh, and uh, go back to Tuesday and Thursday game days. And instead of doing Wednesdays all the time, do a weekend stream like on Saturday night later after the shows are over with. It won't be every Saturday, but it will be uh, more often at night. Might start playing that wild police game a little bit on Saturday nights. It is wild. I need to learn how to drive. Better. Ok. 
come on, dear. That doggone deer winded me. I knew when he, he's dancing a jig out there, he winded me. That's hunting. Sometimes it don't always work out. Don't always work out. Now they come back again. All right, let's see if we can. Let's see what's going to happen here. Need to do a poll to see who's going to win between you and me. Now there she comes. Now I got cover sent on this time. Is she going to win me? Now comes another one. Let's see how they react here. Of course, we know the buck's back there in the back, right? We know that. I have to keep an eye on this area to make sure nothing's walked around me here. And that's where they're trying to go. They're trying to go to that watering spot. Okay, here comes a deer. This is a doe. They got three does. And here comes a buck, I think. Yes, sir. That beast one. All right, we're gonna we're gonna rifle shoot him here with a bosun, because he may not stay long. We're gonna try to put it on him with open sights. Dead deer. I missed her. I tried to I tried to get around on her, but it didn't work out too good. All right, success. Need to put a poll up for you. For you is going to win between. I need. <clears throat> well, I will when we get a date. Wait till Aaron gets to feeling better, and then we'll talk to him about a date. I ain't no big hurry. Let him, let's let him get over his knee pain and then we'll do something. All right, big boy. You're 172. I need you to be a 255 to make diamond. And you're just a silver. So that's what I'm trying to do right there. That's uh, uh, up this silver into a gold and then shoot the golds and up into a diamond. What did Kelly say? Need to do. You will just have to wait and see. It's a sp oh. On the road, check in later. Okay. Uh -uh. Appreciate you stopping by. Let's go. Let's go find one more stand to hunt. Uh, let's see if we can get a little bit better animal. I want to go. I think I want to go down here. Let me see. Yes, I do. Where am I? I think this is where I want to go. I want to go check this out. I have a hard time keeping a memory of all these stands that I've got up here. We got the place pictured in my mind what it looks like. I'm just going to go see if this is it. Uh, 
I think this is it. I think this is where I killed a diamond out of. Let's go see. If I'm right. I know this map quite well. I ought to have hunted in uh, Yeah, this is it. I think. I don't know when I get here. No, this is not it. But this is a good spot. Yeah, this is a good spot. There's already deer up here. But we're going to change the time anyway. So I put this spot here to... Um, I put this spot right here to uh, bow hunt out of because it's close to the zone. So, <clears throat> let me make sure I got the zone time correct. 8 a.m. Now, I usually don't uh, change the time this often, but since we're just bouncing around doing hunting today, I'm changing it more often than I usually do. Alright. Let's get in a stand here. I think the last deer that I killed out of this stand was with a Glock pistol. It was right there. I killed one. Okay. <clears throat> 13 people still are watching. Appreciate you. Appreciate you, appreciate you, appreciate you. We're going to see if we can't get one more deer. Or oh, wouldn't it be nice if it was a diamond that showed up? Wouldn't that be something? You never know. I think I killed a bear out of the stand. A nice bear out of the stand, too. Same setup. We will use the open sights for a closer shot and then use a the scope for a longer shot. So. Both these rifles pretty much have the same uh, effect on whitetail. It puts them down if you make a good shot. The 308 usually drops them in their tracks. The Mosin will most times. Sometimes they'll run 20 yards and drop. But like I said, the 308's just a touch stronger.
And we wait. Twenty more feet. And then you're going to weed eat. Lord, have mercy. Hmm. You mow three acres that fast, you must have a pretty good mower. That ain't no little old push mower. You ain't doing that with no push mower. You must have one of those turnarounds or tractors or something. I used to know an old guy. Uh, talking about mowing the grass. I used to know an old guy. He he dead now, so I can tell this story. When I was working for the police department, uh, I used to know this old guy, and they called him Lawnmower Larry. And they, they nicknamed him Lawnmower Larry because he worked on lawnmowers. All time. I had a side gig, which ended up becoming a permanent gig for him as he got older. So they nicknamed him Lawnmower Larry. Old Larry liked to drink. He liked to drink a lot. <clears throat> he lived across the street from the bar down there where I used to work within. I used to work in the next town up. I used to always have to go down there with, we, when I was riding in squad car, we'd always have to ride down there with the sheriff's office to back them up every time they had a problem down there, which was quite often. And we'd have to make that eight, ten mile run down there and go back them up because we was the closest unit. I'm sitting up there one after one night drinking me a cup of coffee and they got a shooting going on down there. They said the deputy and the deputy calls us on the radio and wants to know if we run down there and help him. So we do. I get down there and old lawnmower Larry had been over at the bar and he got drunk and he's throwing a fit and tore up half the place. And the guy that owned the place sold him out. Well, in turn, that made old Larry mad because that put an end to his drinking for the night. So he decided he's going to go back right to his house. He got his gun out, and every time somebody come out of that bar to leave, he'd fire two shots in there and run them back inside. Of course, we all pulled up out there. You know, all the police pulled up out there, and old Larry... He run the house. Well, I'm 10 miles away, so I'm the last one to get there. I get down there, and Larry's, me and my guy that's doing the driving, driving the squad car, and my partner, and we all get down there, and Larry's done barricaded himself in the house, and he ain't coming out. He's three sheets to the wind, and he gone, and he ain't coming out, and if we go in to get him, he gonna take a shot at us. So knowing old Larry like I do, I decided I'd call old Larry on the phone see if I could get him to come out. And he's stubborn as a government mule. He wasn't going to come out of there no way in the world. Well, I tried to talk him to come out of there about 20, 30 minutes. Tried to con him to come on out of there and he, he wouldn't come out. We'd go to the door and he'd start hollering. He's going to start shooting and carrying on. <clears throat> so 
So I had a choice. Either I could sit there all night long and wait for the, wait for that joker to get tired of holding us at bay, or I could try to get him to come on out of there, comes an animal. So I called him on the phone and I said, Now Larry, I said, I'm gonna tell you something. I said, you and I, we've known each other a long time. Now, you know I'm an impatient man when it comes to stuff like this. I seen something move out there. I said, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you one more opportunity to come on out of there and, and give up. Or I'm calling the SWAT team up here from Waco, and I'm going to have them come up here and we either going to take you out of there and arrest you or shoot you, one of the two. <laughs> and he's like, all I wanted was another drink. I'm like, I'm telling you right now, if you don't come out, there's going to be a long time before you get anything to drink. And he got to thinking about that a while and finally decided to come on out of there. So after all that happened, and Larry got went to jail, and he could see the judge, and he got a big fine, and uh, got on probation, and all that. The guy let him come back to the bar, uh, and I asked that old boy. I said, "You know, I said, why would you let him come back in here after all the trouble uh, that he's caused down here?" He's like. Money. He's a great customer. I thought to myself, that's all it always is about. Money. Had dealings with him two or three times while I was working down there. Had him in jail several times. So every time I talk about a lawnmower, that crosses my mind about lawnmower Larry. Now somebody's going to probably start calling me Moo Moo Troy now. I don't see any deer. What time is it? We're going to give it 10 more minutes. Because there still could be one to walk up here. Still got 12 people back there watching. Well, I didn't run nobody off with my lawnmower Larry story. That's good. I'm glad y'all all come in today and spend a little time with me and listen to me rattle. Uh... I want to remind you about the poll I'm going to put up. Y'all go vote. I want to know what your opinion is. Some people like me to do night streams more often because they're off work. I can do that. Uh, generally on a Saturday uh, night. And it would be after... Uh, if I do it on Friday, it would be after uh, uh, Stan's chat on Friday. <clears throat> or unless Miss Jody was out fishing. 
uh, Saturday's kind of a a lull moment on YouTube or has been. So uh, some people like you know like the idea of me doing a, a night stream more often, uh, simply because uh, they're off work and they can enjoy it. Some people are trying to work while I'm doing a stream in the daytime, and they could listen in the background, participate a little bit, but they're trying to work. Uh, so, uh, get your vote in, because whatever the poll comes out to be, there's going to be a change. If I if it says that, you know, the poll's over with, and it says keep doing the Wednesday stream, that's what we're going to do, and we'll try to throw in a Saturday night here and there. But if the vote is to cease the Wednesdays and do them on Saturday, at least every other week or maybe three weeks out of the month, and that's what we're going to do. So. Sometimes I get a request to go live on Saturday night. There's nothing going on. Sometimes I get asked to go live. Missy has sent me a message. We need to live. Well, that's going on. Everybody's sitting around twiddling their thumbs. So if I feel like doing one, I generally throw up the thumbnail and go live. So It's a shame. I you know, didn't realize that they were going to take that game off of Xbox when I started the Wednesday to Baseball. Uh, if I'd known they were going to do that, I'd have waited and done something else. But I just kind of filled the Wednesday in with other games. So so the poll will we continue to do Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday at 1 p.m.? Or change schedule to Tuesday, Thursday, and at least two Saturday night lives. Choice will be y'all's. I am a crowd pleaser. I don't see a doggone deer. <clears throat> We're going to take one more look with binoculars here. I'm fixing to go here in a minute and feel my cup to the rim with brim have my three o cup three o'clock cup of coffee uh oh look see there's a deer all right we're gonna wait a minute appreciate it i, I will go check them out there they come that's a doe. Where art thou, Buck? She's kicking her leg. Ah, you told on yourself, didn't you, son? Are you back there? There's another doe. There's a buck. Let's just let all these good creatures walk up here and then we'll see what we're going to shoot. Look like we are going to get one last shot, boys and girls. Alright, let me get this rifle ready. To go. Fifty-two inch zero turn. That's why you got it done so quick. All right. He's kind of in between the trees there. Fifty-one yards. We're gonna use open sights on him. I think we could slip that through there, maybe. Oh yeah, I'd slip that through there. <clears throat> the 
Let me just make sure there's no other deer back there. Well, the one thing this game will teach you as you play it is you don't want to shoot the first thing you see. Uh, because the bigger animals are going to be behind the smaller animals and I don't see anything bigger so we're gonna highlight him again and we're gonna put a shot on him I'm gonna wait until he puts his head down and then he picks it back up before I pull the trigger I don't want him to put his head down and then go to put his head down right before I pull the trigger because I may hit him in the neck. I don't want to do that. All right, he's picking his head up. Here we go. He's probably not going far. I have a pretty good hit. <clears throat> Alright. He's down. He's down. He gone. Love that nose that I got. That gun was wood. I painted that with the uh, new paint picture on the game. We leave this stand here. It stays there all the time. We can come back to it any time. Let's walk down here and go pick up a body. Yeah, he didn't run. No way. He's right up here. 20 yards, maybe. Yeah. That Mosin does the job. You're not all that big, but you'll make a payday. He's just a bronze. That's one need to be taken out of the herd. Left lung. Humorous bone. Shot was probably just a touch low, but it did the trick. 52 yards. <clears throat> Alright. Y'all got a couple of shots with a scope. Got a couple of shots with a open sights. And I'm glad y'all come and yawn me today. We are at two hour mark and I still got 15 people watching so all of you has stuck around and I appreciate that I'm going to go take off my bucket hat pick up a cup of coffee God bless you I will see you tomorrow there will be game day tomorrow at 1 o'clock please go check out the poll I will share it on the community tab and the real and virtual outdoors group page it will be linked to the community tab find the poll. God bless you. Thank you for coming. I enjoy seeing each and every one of you and I'm grateful for your friendship. And as the great Parky Pig would say, I believe, 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 that's all folks.